I think one of the mistakes that a lot of faculty make is to make the assumption that our experience base is academics and the intelligence that we bring either naturally or that's been honed from work will translate well from the academic environment to the business environment. And I think that's a, it's a mistake that many people make and I've made it myself. And I really value the experienced business person, the entrepreneur who's made 10 to 20 years of mistakes in the space, but built on it, found their success and way to success as I did as an academic. And so I think it's critically important to convey to the young people that they are also gonna to have to be apprenticeships. And it's interesting in biotech in particular that it's very hard to point to examples where the young founder was able to drive the company to great success. It doesn't mean you need to bring in the gray haired character, but there's something to be said for those experienced business teams, executives who've done it multiple times. They can come in and either serve on your board or be as an advisor. So I think the critical thing is to be self-aware. Critical thing is to really surround yourself. I, you know, the phrase I love is A's hire A's, B's hire C's, is you really want to work hard to just make sure you build that A team and recognize that you may be smart. You may be really smart, but that you're probably out of your zone when you go into a company. Again, I'm involved with a number of companies. My comment to the company is the sooner I'm less involved with the company, the better the company, meaning my skill set is, you know, I like to come up with a cool new idea. I get to the proof of concept demonstration and can lead to a paper or a patent. Maybe it can lead to a spin out, but it doesn't lead to an ability to execute on a business plan that can add value every day to a new company. And I know that I have those shortcomings. So then finding that right talent uh, that can execute. And it's interesting, as I reflect on my experience in business, I think that the barrier to entry in the business world is much too low. I say that in that the barrier to entry into my world, the academic world, is very high. You need to put in a good amount of time and jump through a lot of hoops. In the business world, it's not as high. And, and you know, you'll talk about, you hear, you know, 90% of companies will fail. I'm not sure if it's an accurate number, but if that's the case, boy, you know, that, that it, the, the threshold is too low. And you don't have 90% academic labs failing because you're weaning people out before then, before they have the opportunity to create the lab. And I think we need to set the thresholds higher. And I suspect the very best venture groups like Casa Venture has set those those thresholds higher in order to get to a greater chance for success.